interesting to notice that they are not asking Jesus to heal them or cleanse them. They are asking Jesus to have mercy on them. It's very important anytime we come to God having a problem, not to ask God to change our problem, but to change our heart. Yeah. Many people come to God to change their circumstances. But the interesting part with all of the bad circumstances in our life, there's one common denominator, and that is you. And that is me. And if God keeps changing our circumstances without ever changing our heart, it's a matter of time we'll find ourselves in the same circumstances very quickly. Yeah. Most of us don't need our circumstances to be changed first. We need our heart to be changed first. And therefore our prayer when we are in need, in sickness, in poverty, marriage falling apart or our health falling apart or we have nightmares or attacks, most of us are tempted to run to God and put our hand into his pocket and get a miracle and have him change our circumstances. And many times you will see that the Lord will long in not doing that right away because he sees that the real problem is our sin the real problem is our heart and he wants to change the cause of our problem not just deal with the fruits of our problem can somebody say amen? amen most of us are seeking healing when God wants to seek for us to seek forgiveness of our sin and these lepers I mean if there was anybody who should come to Jesus and scream and yell please Jesus heal us it will be these lepers yet we see them coming to Jesus and say please Jesus have mercy on us I'm not sure whether they heard the testimony of Bartimaeus when Bartimaeus used to be blind and instead of asking Jesus to open his eyes, he asked Jesus to have mercy on him. Don't be afraid. Sometimes people are like, well, if I don't tell God about my problems, he's not going to know. Really? You believe he doesn't know about your problems and you believe somehow he's in heaven and you're on earth and he hears you? Why pray if he doesn't know your problems? If he doesn't know your problems, he can't hear you then. God knows everything but God wants to know that you know your problems God wants to know that I know the real problem that I have and the real problem is my heart not always my pocket not always my relationships and not always my circumstances anytime you try to advise couples who have marital problems and the funny part is they always feel like it's the other person and if you ask him write a circle and take how much of the circle is your problem and you will ever see somebody saying all of the circle is my problem people say no it's 99 percent her problem and mine is one small slice and the only reason mine has a slice is because of her 99. <laughs> and please counselor i'm paying you convince my wife to get rid of her 99 problems so that i could finally get rid of mine one and not realizing that is not however it will work if you ever been married to more than few days you will know one thing this will never ever fix your relationship with your spouse and this will never work in your relationship with god yeah. you cannot come to god begging god to change your circumstances without first asking god to change your heart proper priorities means your heart the change of your heart is more important than the change of your circumstances the change of your mind is more important than the change of your life can somebody say